Well, thanks a lot, Bob. So the Yankees win another one. That's not the big story. They've won seven in a row, 14 in a row here at Yankee Stadium. But I think when you can win a game like this, David, and you have the emergency starter and you've got the lower leverage relievers doing most of the heavy lifting, that's a nice win to get. It really is. And Anthony Rizzo said it you know, properly after the game. The pitching kept them in the game. The defense as well. And then when they get timely hitting, you know, it, it all makes it pay off because Clark Schmidt did his job. Ryan Weber out of nowhere shows up and did his job. Pretty remarkable effort that the Yankees just find a way to get it done night in and night out. Now, remember, they, they were supposed to start Severino, who's been pitching so very well, but he came down ill last night, and he's on the COVID IL, so they had to go to Clark Schmidt. And Clark Schmidt wants to be a starter somewhere in the future, and that was a nice little audition for him. It really was. He had a different look to him tonight, I, you know, on that mound. A little different bounce in his step. He came out, he touched 97 miles an hour with good movement on his fastball. And that curveball, that knuckle curve he throws is for real. It's an elite category in terms of spin, shape, and break. Uh, he's got it. I think he improves his changeup a little bit. He's got all the makings for a really good starter. And Weber was just having fun. I mean, he replaced Severino on the roster called up today. And this is a veteran. He's been in the big leagues many, many years. And uh, you could just see he was having a blast out there. Yeah, he really was. I mean, it's fun to see. You know, it was a good ball game. Good old-fashioned uh, pitching duel, and the Rays, they invented the bullpenning game, so they had him lined up right, left, right, left, and they, they, they gave their team a chance to win, but the Yankees just matched them every step of the way, and then Rizzo was clutch. He was the offense tonight, the, the, the RBI single, and then the big home run late. And let's not forget Marinaccio. You know, he seems like he's on the back end of the bullpen, but the Yankees really like his stuff, and you saw some of that tonight. He's legit. He really is. Mid-90s fastball. The more reps he gets, the better he seems to, to be. It's seems like and that's normal obviously for a rookie that every outing he has and he has success he gets more trustworthy he's going to get in that circle of trust before much longer because he's got a legitimate three pitch mix and they're all quality pitches michael king pitched the ninth he picked up the victory but the the offensive star was anthony rizzo and what's impressive about this series david the yankees didn't hit all that much i mean these games were really close and they scratched and they clawed and they just have a way about them that they know how to win but today the hero um a roulette spun to uh, anthony rizzo it did. It's almost like they beat the Rays at their own game. The Rays are built around pitching and defense, and they've been offensively challenged, especially with Wander Franco, their their young superstar, out with an injury. So it, the Yankees just matched them. Hey, you want to pitch? You want to play a bullpen game? We're going to match you every step of the way. And then, you know, when you have that part of the lineup come up in the ninth inning, that's drama. I mean, it's Judge. It's Rizzo. Didn't even get to Stanton. So that, that just worked out perfectly in terms of timing and the way the lineup turned over for the Yankees. And again,